Hot Chocolate Weather by Elizabeth Castro. Art by Emanuel Wymans. On Monday, snow made the front page of the newspaper. James and his sister Ashley helped Dad collect fallen branches for firewood, but a warm breeze blew dry leaves around the yard. This isn't hot chocolate weather, thought James. No snow. On Tuesday, the morning news predicted six to eight inches of snow by nightfall. James filled up the empty bird feeder in his yard. A squirrel stopped by. A hungry cardinal feasted. But the sky was robin's egg blue. This isn't hot chocolate weather, thought James. No snow. On Wednesday, James listened to the weather report on the radio. Snow by late afternoon. James helped Mom gather flashlights, candles, batteries, granola bars, and bottled water in case the power went out. James and Mom met Ashley at the bus stop after school. A cold wind gnawed at James's face. He buried his hands in his coat pockets. This could be hot chocolate weather, thought James, smiling. Splat, ding, beads of rain fell from the sky. No snow. On Thursday, James looked at Mom's phone. Snow danced on the screen. He dashed to the window. The swing set was missing. The bushes were gone. The yard was blanketed in white fluff. Snow! No school! Hot chocolate weather, thought James. He and Ashley gulped down their breakfasts. Dad turned on the stove. James and Ashley measured, mixed, poured, and stirred. Yum! Hot chocolate! On Friday, James and Ashley piled into puffy coats and two big hats and ran outside. They slid down the hill in the backyard and threw snowballs at the fence. When they went inside for lunch, Mom and Dad were still in pajamas, sitting by the fire. Chicken soup filled the house with the smells of carrots, peas, and potatoes. Still hot chocolate weather, thought James. On Saturday... James and Ashley took a walk. Crunch, crunch. The snow inched further up James's boots with each step he took. He looked at the boot prints he and Ashley had made in the yard. The snow was dotted with tracks. Teeny tiny tracks. Cat tracks. Tracks that looked like handprints. Dog tracks. Claw marks. Hot chocolate weather, thought James. Ashley and James went inside. The hot chocolate pan sat in the sink. Hey, who drank it all? James and Ashley measured, mixed, poured, and stirred. Yum! Hot chocolate! On Sunday, James and Ashley went out to play. Melting ice dripped off the trees. Water ran down the street. James tried to pack a snowball. Wet snow dripped between his fingers. This isn't hot chocolate weather, thought James. No snow. Thunk! The big weekend newspaper landed on the curb. James picked it up. There was a picture of snow on the front cover. Snow next week, read Ashley. Hot chocolate weather is coming back, thought James happily. <laughs>